It's almost time for the daily commute. Anatoly Popko grabs a coffee and says goodbye to his baby daughter. Now he enters the city's intimidating metro system. Once I exit the train, I have to listen carefully and then I have to, you know, be real careful moving around. That takes courage. Because Anatoly can't see. He's been blind since childhood. Historically, people in Russia with a range of disabilities were sent to institutions, like these blind children in the early 20th century. Here, children learn traditional skills, but their lives were strictly regimented. And today, the marginalization continues. The blind people who can find work often have no choice but to spend their working lives carrying out menial tasks. Anatoly believes that new technologies can help. Working for the All-Russia Association of the Blind, he demonstrates this new voice recognition software, which enables users to harness the almost limitless information available on the Internet. Anatoly's goal is to change Russia, not just for blind people, but for all people with disabilities. And there are signs that his wishes are starting to be fulfilled. Moscow has declared that it will be barrier-free by 2020, meaning that all public buildings and facilities should be easily accessible. And in 2008, the Russian Federation signed the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. For Anatoly, the birth of his new daughter, 10-month-old Polina, means new responsibility as a father and a new focus on the future. At heart, he hopes his daughter's life will be shaped by the same spirit as his own.